a pregnant woman is participating in an event of miraculous significance. She is bringing into existence a new life that did not exist before. The quality of this life will be defined by the quality of birth. The genius of her body is designed to give birth with ease and grace. In our soft, warm hands, we are holding the keys to our future. Natural birth is a powerful initiation, a rite of passage for all involved. Within the sacred act of birth lies a pathway to the pure potentiality of life. This is birth as nature knows it. This is birth as we know it. A journey of a few inches from the womb into the world is our ultimate flight for freedom that activates our zest for life. If I were to take the liberty of singling out the most important thing a woman needs to learn about childbirth, that would be the spiraling the actual physical spiraling motion of the body that exists in traditional dances around the globe belly dancing hawaiian hula indian african dance it reflects the primal basic motion of the energy flow in our universe seashells galaxies our dna strands obey the same law of spiraling it propels our planet to move with enormous speed through the space. In childbirth, conscious surrender to that vortex of energy brings an experience of profound grace. For the most part, I was squatting, and um, in between, oftentimes, I'd actually stand up, especially later on as it progressed and it got more intense. Like, I'd stand up and I'd just spiral my hips and that's what would move the energy because there was so much energy that would collect in my hips that all I could do was just spiral them to move it through otherwise it would it would could be translated as pain like I felt that fine line where I had a choice like I could translate the sensation as pain and pleasure and I just kept choosing to move it through which kept it as pleasure and there was a moment that Nassim and I had where we had the sweetest most mushy kiss and I felt that kiss go all the way through me through every cell through my core and just melt me and after that kiss, I felt so soft. And through each rush that I was having, I was actually purring through each, what they call contractions, but in no way did I feel contracted. I felt so expanded. And then after the purrs, like they just kept coming, and I just felt softer and softer till I just felt them coming through as rolling orgasms to the point where I was crying. I mean, it was so overwhelming, the energy. It was so, so amazing. We come into this world wide open to give and receive love. And when that is our primal experience, our nervous system is hardwired for the undeniable rightness of being.
If our early impressions are anything less than loving, then that anything imprints in our nervous system as a valid experience of love, regardless of how painful those experiences might have been. And throughout our life, we will subconsciously recreate the conditions and feelings that were imprinted at birth and early childhood. Because in spite of all logic, that is our comfort zone. The dramatic journey from the womb out into the world, whatever form it takes, reinforces that imprint. In addition, our early impressions in life also have an enormous impact on our future capacity to experience intimacy and love. When love, not fear, is an integral part of the birthing field, a woman has access to the power of creation that is working through her. The more power there is in her field, the less force she will need to use because love is a highly coherent field. Babies that were conceived and born in love without trauma are easy to recognize. They are usually relaxed and content. They hold deep and alert eye contact and use crying very effectively to communicate their needs. With our conscious intention and effort, we can embrace the opportunity and create a masterpiece of our life. We can regain our authentic power and clear the pain of our ancestors from our system. Over 150 million women gave birth this year. Imagine how the quality of humankind could improve in one generation by changing our birth practices and bringing our children into a world of love and safety. We can improve the quality of our life by moving beyond the imprint of fear and suffering. We have the capacity to experience the transformative power of birth and return to the magical feeling of being fully engaged in life, in the process of creating each day in harmony, as we choose to remember who we are.